guten Abend. G good evening. I was, I was going to go with the German thing, but I really don't want to do the German thing. I need to refresh my German really bad. Uh, this is the Voices from Behind podcast. The podcast where every week we talk about films and other such things that interest us so dearly. I'm your host. My name is Evo, and with me, ooh, burpees, is the other Evo. Yes. Who too has the name of Evo? Later on in the show, we're gonna talk about an incredible film. Just it it tickles so many fancies. It is. Ridiculous. Uh, yeah, but first, we're going to talk about what we did over the week, see how the week's gone and what's happened. We're going to talk about a bit of news because the Oscars happened. And we're going to try... Oh, wait a second. The fuck's going to speak for a sec? Say something? Uh, Ave Maria, but... Why are you not coming through? Hold on. Hold on. I, I believe the stream thinks I'm speaking to myself. Uh, stream. No. General. General Kenobi. Okay. 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 Done. Say something now. No, I'm good. There you go. I was just speaking to myself for the last two minutes. Uh, well, <laughs> this is a thing, a thing that is the voice from behind. Who are you again, sir? Because you were not I am there. evil. And, um, remember, this is a technical difficulty of the podcast. Yes, the podcast where every week now we're having the most technical of difficulties. Whether it be Windows issues, system restore prompts, uh, random glitches during the podcast... Random, uh, random uh, video issues, random sound issues. There are issues left and right. So as I was saying, we're going to go over what we did during the week. We're going to cover the Oscars and some other news. Yeah, let's go on. And then, and then we're we'll going talk. to cover Passengers. Uh, the film because we can't have nice things. Because we're not allowed nice things. Very, very good. Tell me, sir, how, how was... Did you have a good week? Eh, it's a fine week. Tomorrow I'll be going to Manchester to see some friends. Yes. That are going to travel to Manchester, so I guess I'm have something. And uh, <clears throat> I saw a couple of movies uh, this week. Yes. Yesterday I, I binge-watched everything about The Purge. Oh, God. Oh, it's actually not as bad as people remember it to be. Yeah, the first one was decent, the rest of them were shit. No, actually, it's the other way. The first one's shit. The other ones are actually getting better. Uh, In including the TV series. Okay. Because um, here's the thing. The first movie, is, it's like, you, you hear the premises like, this is stupid. But afterwards, they actually explore the premise. You, they build an actual universe around it. It's not that bad. It actually kind of makes sense. Okay. Uh, I still think that the second one is probably the best one out of the lot. Because second, uh, one. yeah, is it pretty second much one. the same as the first? Just the no, second? no, 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 no. It's completely different. See, the uh, the second one deals with uh, several ca main characters and their own plot issues and their own uh, uh, stuff, which is uh, fine, you know. But it's a bit different, it's not bad. And I, I that kind of got me the first time because I was like, why? Wait, what? Well, and then I rewatched again. I was like, and I actually it's not that bad. Scene was okay. So it could be better or worse. <laughs> well, yeah. Can always be better or worse. True. That is very, very true. Did you do anything? But, yeah. Uh, uh, I also saw the TV series, which I'm particularly fond of most of them. There's a show about The Purge? Oh, yeah, two seasons. The Purge TV show. I just typed that out in Bulgarian. Great. Holy shit, there is. 
Yeah, uh, the first season was actually like the second movie, like a film which I kind of liked, and it was fine. And the second season, I did not much enjoy, but it did uh, get some interesting uh, over uh, insight of the whole universe again. It actually expanded a bit more because um, you know most people are like, oh, so one day in the fucking year crime is legal. Does that mean that, that there is no crime otherwise? Well, no, there is fucking crime. That's the point. But this one day of the, uh, the year, you can do whatever the fuck you want. And criminals get judged based on the, the, the purge, so you can get the shafted and have to wait a de- well, one day, one year, no, 364 days until the next purge till you get killed, because that's how long the death penalty um, would be. Because otherwise, in normal society, you can spend like fucking years before you get executed. Yeah, you can. And like, you can it's, it's the one day of the year you can literally get away with murder. Well, not just murder, because people were robbing stuff, you know, banks and uh, well, yeah, other yeah. things. Uh, yeah, it was like... Well, no, some, are, some of those are things you can get away with. Murder, however, is not one of those things. Well, but but yeah, the thing is, like, yeah, please make, make sure to uh, properly explain how the things work, work in, in, in the Purge universe. And I appreciated that, because the first movie had a lot of fucking questions left. <laughs> like, uh... What the fuck? Do, why is there a purge? And uh, one of some of the movies explain why the purge is there. They explain the new foundations, and I'm fine with that. It's actually not as bad as people remember it to be. I've seen worse movies, worse sequels, and worse prequels. <laughs> so these they, these ones were directed towards something. Like they, they're not the best movies, right? But they could be infinitely worse. Like I didn't enjoy the second season of the Purge because, uh, as much as they uh, they went to that, there was also the upcoming uh, how should I put it overlying overlying uh, um, plot that was that people were trying to uh, force more purges with fucking drugs. I don't. So that that part was fucking weird. And weird stupid. shit then, yeah. Um, yeah, some fucking political thriller shit. I was like, no, no, no. Is it, like is it shit. basically the bit where the show just decides to go? Up? up its own ass and just try no, and like elaborate no. on things it shouldn't be elaborating on no no no. they just because uh, uh, every show needs a you know plot arc yeah and the two seasons are completely different because it because uh, give different groups of people so every season that finishes with, with the overarching arc done just done the first season had a cult that was uh, basically for, uh, for people for purchase for free and then um, it turns out that there is this market like fucking mcdonald's where you go and take to buy people so you can purge them at your own fucking leisure hello and uh, welcome to mcdonald's which yeah, Norman, which person would, would you, you like, like to burn today yeah it was kind of like that but then it turns out that one person went completely fucking insane because of the purge and all the mental stress and he was you know, it, it wasn't bad it was just a bit Weird, but the second season just fucking messed me with that whole part of uh, drugs and making people purge every day of the year. Cause I don't know why the fuck would you want that shit. I uh, just stupid stuff. Well, yeah, it doesn't mm-hmm. make a great lot of sense, does it? Well, yeah. But you know, acting was fine. Okay. Actually, it was for the fucking movies. Like, it's like the third one. Third one had a one a really wonky person. Uh, acting was pretty much fine. Some of the worst one-liners I've heard in a it, very long time. Isn't Ethan Hawke in the first one? Yeah, but he's always wrong, so who gives a shit? <laughs> it's very true. Like, I don't fucking hate the guy, but I don't know. He's acting, especially the uh, last, I don't know, five movies I've seen on him, was just questionable at the best. He looked more lost on set than actually acting. I don't yeah. fucking appreciate that shit. He was very Daniel Craigy. Mm. I mean, I also saw last night uh, the VFW. About what now? A gory movie. Okay. A, a very good gory movie. It's a, as stupid as it should have been. <laughs> I'll, I'll read you out the synopsis. A group of war veterans must defend the local VFW post and, a, uh, and an innocent team against a deranged drug dealer and his relentless army of punk mutants. <laughs> oh, oh! The, the, the movie was uh, just that sound, sounds sounds just as stupid. Uh, trust me, it never tried to be anything but stupid, and it was enjoyable for every last second of it. Okay, it had all the fucking. Mess. I was sitting there going like, I know this is probably gonna be garbage. It kind of is, but it's an enjoyable garbage. I can always I can always appreciate that chill. 
smack and oh, all the right moves. I also saw Cupid 2020. At least I fell asleep somewhere during Cupid 2020. <laughs> and um, that's not a good movie. Then again, I didn't expect much about the fucking Valentine's Day horror movie. Uh, but it's, I, but it's Valentine's I, Day. I saw Fallen Angels, which is a movie I actually kind of adore. It's the amount of cheese I always wanted. It's like a little bit hallmarky. Okay. Uh, Fallen Angels. Yeah. So 2002, 2004, I think, something like that. Let me Google that shit. Uh, it actually has some big name actors in it, believe it or not. I mean, bigger names than what you'd expect. Mm. Oh, mm. oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know this film. It's actually pretty decent. <laughs> Surprisingly, I was going, I was uh, expecting a fucking train wreck, but what I got was actually pretty decent. I was like, all right, you got me there. Uh, me and Vest went to the movies. Oh, and why so the underwater... fuck am I getting notifications? Instagram, why notify me when I'm in the middle of a stream? Instagram, <coughs> why the fuck are you on Instagram? It should, I'm getting messages, but it shouldn't be all my notifications should be on mute. But never mind, I do carry on. Um, I also saw Underwater this week with Vesco. All right, uh, you should uh, find that movie and watch it. You're gonna enjoy it. Am I? Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Oh. It's pretty good. See, here's the weird part. Yeah, it's cringy moments. You open up with a fucking monologue from Kristen Stewart and it goes on a fucking monologue from one of the worst one-liners I've heard in a long time in an actual movie. Okay. And I, I don't appreciate that, but everything else, pretty fine. It's, it's actually pretty good for what it tried to do. If this movie came out like four years ago, we'd talk about it more because it actually did a lot of good. There was also a lot of bad, because a lot of fucking slow mos. I fucking hate that shit. Slow mos. Like, yeah, slow mos. A lot of them. I thought it was supposed to be like a psychological no, horror. No, thing. no, 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 no. See, it has four distinctive, um, what you call it, influences for the movie. Okay. And it does well to emulate them, and that's what I liked about it. I could easily tell which one they tried to. Uh, it was inspired by, and I it, and I didn't think too badly of it because I knew it was inspired. They didn't copy them right. at all, and that's something I appreciate. And also, the acting was pretty solid. <laughs> yeah, I know. I said something positive about Kristen Stewart. I know, I know. The acting. It, 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 see, right. I I think Vesco said it best. Like she can act, but what most people remember her for is uh, Bella. Outside Twilight. Of Bella, she, yeah. Yeah. And outside of that, she's done arty shit, and most people, including myself, have not seen it. But uh, Vesco said that he's seen some of it, and he said it's actually pretty good acting. No, she's got decent. Um, she's got decent roles. In what? Like, outside of Bella, she just prefers to do fucking arty shit. Yeah, movie, there's a couple of films where she does really well. She can't remember what, uh, what they're called. Uh, see, the thing is, this movie apparently was the bad boy. Like this was supposed to come out earlier, and if it did come out earlier, it would be really good. Okay. And it, but since now we have fucking corals of space, this movie just kind of fell flat compared to it. And I'm <laughs> kind of sad, because uh, corals of space is actually a really good movie, which you still haven't seen because you're, cause you are, you are a special, special person. A special boy. Yeah. And this movie also had the fucking Kafu in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we talked about that last time. And see... I actually watched Palm Flex after I saw the movie. Uh huh. And because I don't have the fucking box next to me. And he opened the box, and the way Kafulu was portrayed in the movie is almost an exact as he was written down in the book. Okay. That's a fucking margin, huh? I will clap to that. Yeah, it's like you have your Soma uh, inspirations, you have your uh, aliens, uh, alien inspirations, you have. Uh, uh, the, your Lovecraft, and I forgot the fourth, fourth one, which is weird. David I think Lynch. It was thing. Hmm? David Lynch. No, 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 Leviathan, Leviathan. Ah, oh, okay. And I appreciated that because I fucking uh, knew, and I, I didn't mind it, especially since Leviathan was kind of a fucking uh, bullet down. <laughs> and you're gonna have actual fun watching the movie. All right. That's something that I, I I kind of went in expecting to see a fucking train wreck and a half. But the way that Kristen Bell was written inside the movie and the way she acted, like, the people fucking understood what made Ellen Ripley good 
and she did her best Ellen Ripley impression I've seen um, uh, I've seen in a long time. You it's mean, good. It's good, as in she's an actual good character, not necessarily a strong badass woman. Yeah, she suffers. She's uh, she has doubts. She uh, oh, comes up with a like them. you wouldn't there believe. Is... Do you know yeah, that originally they... Ripley was supposed to be a dude, but then they just changed it for Sigourney Weaver, mm-hmm. and they didn't change any of the writing of the character whatsoever. Well, see, that's because good writing. Huh? Yeah, and, and the people that she was with, the you know the whole group, they came together. They had actual banter between them. She had her own personal demons that she was able to uh, battle through. So in the you're end. saying there's a lot of alien in this film, then? Well, yes and no. I mean, you've like, got the, the inspiration, you've got the ensemble the bit from from Alien and characters that you feel know each other, even though you've only just met them. Kinda, because not all of them know each other, because it's a big base, and she knows some of them. But okay. you can tell that they can um, uh, uh, that they can actually talk a lot uh, with each other, and they have some uh, form of you know the introductions to each other. They're not necessarily mm-hmm. best friends like in Alien, because in Alien there was just a small ship of uh, eight people. Is it eight or ten? But, uh, come, see, the funny thing is, I tried pre-watching the original Alien, and it kind of chugs in on the twentieth minute, and I can't fucking watch past it, and I'm oh. fucking angry. Uh, Let me just see if it's know. on Netflix. I might give you just, might just give you my uh, my link so you can watch it. I think it is. I will get to fucking Netflix because fuck those guys. No, Lock and, and Key has started. And oh yeah, I know. I watched one episode, but I kind of fell through, so I don't particularly know what the fuck. No, happens. Alien is not on it. Well, I think it's on the Bulgarian one. I'm pretty sure it's on the Bulgarian one. Try, try me to give you something else that starts with Alien on Netflix, and it's just... Covenant? S- no. The Alienist. Oh, I think I know. Is that a comedy one? No, it's it's a show from... Oh, it's the Aliens from history. Yeah, Aliens. no, when a boy's mutilated body is found on a bridge, Alien... Alienist Dr. Chrysler notices similarities to an unsolved murder involving a former patient of his. It's set in 1920s New York, I think. Oh, I'll check it out in that case. Uh, it is genuine. Like, there's there's bits of that show that are fucking incredible. Yeah. But uh, overall, it's just... Uh... I think I, I think that they also used, uh, for the most part, they used CGI for a lot, which is fine, because it's underwater. That's yeah. fine by me. Uh, and they used it sparingly. Well in the, I think you see the one, only one monster. It was a small baby. That's part CGI, part practicals. Okay, decent enough. Decent, but they didn't show much of it, which right. is also fine. Did, uh, did it all it look good. okay on the big screen? I think that's the most important thing about CGI. I think that Kafulu looked fucking amazing for uh, for what they tried with him. He's a match between actual Kafulu and the Kraken. Yeah, I imagine that one from second there. I thought it was either the gone. It was David. No, Dagon's a big chubby boy. With... Well, this one, this one's also Chungus and half. <laughs> like he's really fucking big, but no, it was fucking Kafulu. Okay. And the funny thing is, his uh, uh, his tentacles was actually the birthplace for all the monsters. So I was like, so this is a match between Dagon, Kafulu, and Yoxafo. And there's so, a bit sorry, of Hydra. Sorry, uh, no, no, sorry, Nupshira. And I was like, that's. Pretty good, but yeah, it looks cause, also like a kraken. Cause, yeah, because Hydra, she gives birth to shit as well. Well, I think it's it should technically be uh, Nupshira, uh, the god with a thousand children. Like, what the fuck was the actual name? The black god with a thousand children, I think. Uh, it's not the Shogoth, because Shogoth is the big sludge monster. No, no. Nupshira is different. I remember this, because uh, Quake. How do you spell this exactly? Nupshira. Um, yeah, Shub, sorry, Shub Nigurov. No, Shub Nigurov. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, the black goat of the woods with a thousand young. Close enough, close enough. It was in the Cthulhu mythos. mythos. I mean, yeah, it kind of resembles the uh, Shogath, but the Shogath is more uh, fleshy. Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, and. I also fucking loved the uh, diving suits that they had. And the diving suits looked a lot like uh, Space Marine ones from StarCraft. That was a nice touch. They do look like Space Marines, don't they? Yeah, it's, it was actually pretty <laughs> fucking nice. And uh, a couple of guys imploded and the implosion effects... Just, okay, I'm going to have to go watch this film. Or find it. Find to watch. Find, yeah. find a way to watch it, I guess. 
And it's it's and that's what mostly surprised me about this movie. I expected the fucking train wreck that I have, especially the movie that was shelved for fucking years. But what I got was something that was actually decent. It's not the best movie I've seen. It's not gonna be there, but it's a movie I'd probably watch at some point again. Okay. And that's that's rare, especially for horror movie I've seen. Okay, you know what's the funniest thing about the about the underwater suits they have? Yeah, what? Well, They're almost the one to one with the <laughs> with the StarCraft one. I know. They because I, I remarked that to, to uh Vesco when we saw the first time I was like, bro, it just looks like fucking space marines from StarCraft. You're like yeah they do. And both was just it's pretty that's actually a pretty good good look. Yeah. Quite surprised. Let uh, me just see if I can get him up on the screen. <laughs> But we also had a couple of fucking uh, issues with the movie because, uh, you know, it's an underground base in the um, Mariana Falls. No, way. The trench? Yeah, the trench. And I was like, the, the Mariana trench, I was like, how the fuck do you build something at 6.4 kilometers on the ground when, when the fucking pressure is so big? Um, well, guys, it's, it's in the relative future, isn't it? Well, no. It's not. Well, oh, uh, isn't it? You no, know, I was like, because here's the thing. Now, this was just me some uh, nitpicking shit for reasons. I was like, you know, I actually want to. I actually want to see how they actually build it. I mean, I have my fucking theories. They probably are wrong, but I still want to see how the fuck they build that. Well, shit what if they? Fucking... What if they use the Eldritch, uh, the uh, Eldritch uh, magics to, to get it to work? Well, okay. how the fuck would they? Because you know, this is the, hu- the It's the Umis that build it. That's the Umi. The Umis. The Umis, and they had this big ass fucking tube that sends them up to up to, towards the uh, surface. Well, it's not hard sci-fi, is it? It's more. Well, no, no, that's that's the, that's just me being interested for something because it uh, looks uh, so fucking stupid. Uh, <laughs> you want a you want you want a prequel that is just them building the <laughs> building the base. Actually, they see the the shitty thing is this movie could actually have spawned a couple more. And if they kept the same formula, kind of the same formula, and just expanded on it, it would be fine. But like I said, this is a three-year-old movie that came out recently. And that's probably not going to happen at this point. And that kind of sucks. Hmm. But there are actual survivors in the movie, and they kind of set up for a sequel, but I don't think we're ever going to see one. So even though I probably, I'm probably interested to see if they, uh, you know, if they do a sequel, how they're going to approach it. Right. All right. Okay, that's we can I can get behind that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not sure it's still in the cinema because we saw the last one uh, that was in Manchester, and I was like, "Let's go see this." He was like, "Well, what was this?" He was like, "I was like, with oh, Krista Stewart, but it's uh, on the ground." So I was like, "Okay, fine. Why this one not Parasite or Yellow yeah, Moon?" I forgot. Uh, and I was like, "Cause you know, it's the last chance to see it, so might as well just see it." Next yeah. couple of weeks, we're kind of uh, stuck uh, uh, stuck with movies. I'll go watch Parasite again. You're gonna go watch it again. <laughs> well, I've seen it before. I mean, remember, oh, you it came saw out it in fucking the... November. Yeah. It's also a Netflix movie. Is it on Netflix? Well, no, it's in the UK. It's, it's re releasing in the UK. Oh, not in the UK, of course. Because it's, it's re releasing uh... in the UK in cinemas after all the Oscar wins. Well, yeah, because we never fucking got it to begin with. They delayed it post fucking Oscars, which is the stupidest thing in existence. And yeah, these people were fucking understand. idiots. Yeah, but. Uh... It's Netflix more. Good. Let me just double check. That's why uh, you should always, always, what? Uh, you should always, always keep more than one Netflix account with proxies so you can actually watch shit. Yeah, but I'm not paying for two Netflix accounts, am I? No, because you get the fucking proxy for it. So you uh, trigger the proxy. Well that's, why, well, that's why Opera has VPNs. Mm-hmm. That's why you use them, because, uh, like I said, it's fucking stupid, because, uh, see, Days of Glory is unavailable in California in Netflix. California. I think it was Blazing. For some fucking, uh, oh, Blazing Saddles, sorry, Blazing Saddles is unavailable there. Yeah, because people because they petitioned. triggered by it. Yeah, and they petitioned it, and it's not there. Comedy film. I'm just leaving this article in the chat for later. I just need it for the news. Oh yeah, the Natalie Portman bullshit. No, not not yep. just that. Just the whole. Yeah, people fucking destroyed Natalie Portman so bad. I actually feel for her. It's not just oh, her, me. but it's in the chat. We'll talk about it later. Uh, outside of that, I mean, oh oh, 
see one of my friends is uh, currently doing Calc 2. And I was like, do you want to see some uh, monster integral? Do you, want, do you want some of that? That's booty. And I was like, yes, yes sir, please give me. Give me, he just gets up. He's like, give me another one. Eh? And I showed him. I showed him Putnam questions. And he fucking flipped the shit. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Literally, I, I'll, I'll show you the easiest one. Because I use paint to write them down because it looks better. Yeah, yeah, although it takes me some time. I'll show you the <clears throat> shortest one, not the easiest one. Okay. It's not even remotely. It's one of those that I... Because when I was studying this, I looked at this question. I was like, oh, oh no, 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 no. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, man. I'm getting the fuck out of Dodge. Trust me, that one, that one's a fucking doozy and a half. <laughs> Give me a second. I think it was four. Was it four? Show me, oh, come no. on. I want to see it. Give it to me. Uh, and it's a. Uh, I mean, once you understand the principle behind it, it's not that difficult. Let me just find if it's this one. No, this is a long one. It's actually relatively easy if you catch what the fuck they're actually actually writing down. See the second one. Uh, yeah, the, no, no, it was not this one. Uh, was it the third one? No, this was Man, this one. Was, was it the second one? That can't be the second one. Oh yeah, it's the second one. Huh. Yep, this is it. Let's have a look. Oh. Bro. Let me explain let, let me tell you like this. This is so simple, yet so fucking hard. I'm just gonna put this up on the screen. Um uh transition let me just enlarge it slightly and oh, oh, oh. america this is a really fucking difficult one because it involves advanced techniques that uh you don't necessarily study america and explain of, and a lot of fucking math an actual math behind it because this is one of the infamous infinity boy integrals because it's an infinity one doesn't look like it i have several questions why does why is x why does x have a minus x at the top there because it's uh on, uh, because the power of it is one over x that's usually written as minus x okay Sorry, then, no, 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 wrong, wrong 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 what's with it's, the massive s minus. what's the what's the case that's, with that's, this? An, that's an integral the integral so, from zero to one to uh, of x by the power of minus oh, zero x to one dx. Okay. So you integrate the function of x by the power of uh, minus x from 0 to 1. So when you uh, write the whole fucking uh, 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 function of x to the power of minus x, okay. you take from 0 to 1 and integrate just that part. Uh, okay. And here, here, here is the big issue with, with this one. Uh, it's like since it's x by the power of minus x you need to introduce other things to it because you cannot differentiate it you cannot simplify it you have to introduce other things and the second line of it it becomes the sum of k from 0 to infinity if I remember correctly because I haven't done touched this one in years uh, over k uh -huh. factorials and I'm like fuck <laughs> I'm like fuck why of x of well, yeah just just live with it because x on the power of l on natural log of x um yeah i think it was i mean i haven't i haven't written it down so this is basically me on the top of my head as far as i remember how the fuck this was supposed to look like and i remember getting to this part and just fucking dropping it i was like no nah, nah, i can't do this shit like this is actually fucking difficult I'm just doing something for comedic effect here. And yeah, he he was uh kind of displeased. Kinda. Yeah, I I wouldn't blame him. Well, see, he has to study this shit. Jesus, he actually, why? He, because he's uh, if I remember correctly, he was doing robotics, and okay. he has calc two. But then again, this is not calc two. This is far fucking advanced from the calc two. I think this this. Specifically, this one. 
was with some complex analysis in it. But like I said, I can't fucking remember this shit because I'm not writing it down. I'm not solving it, so I don't fucking care at this point. I'm mm. done. I'm done with this. I don't fucking want to touch this shit again. Specifically, this one. There's no, a couple I don't even of other ones. I want to fucking look at it, let alone touch it. I also saw the uh, the Coxita uh, Int Integral, which is a doozy and a half. That one. That one's an actual fucking monster of an Integral. And that's why you just stick to arithmetic. <laughs> well, this is. It's not. One plus one equals two. That's arithmetic. Uh uh. See, that's part of it, but not the whole part of it. Just stick to basic arithmetic. There we go. Even shut, on up, how you shut up, <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut the fuck up. Moving on. <laughs> We're moving on from math. We're not talking about math. Fuck math. No, I only install also... drivers again. Sure. Why don't you just fucking send your PC to... I went to the person. Phone. I went straight to HP, basically. They're incompetent. Never fucking go to them. I Well, that's who I got my laptop from. So I just went to their custom, you know, to their uh, tech support. And the guy did the remote desktop thing where he clicked about for a bit. And then he just went, your chip said driver's out of date. I'm like, when was it supposed to get rolled out? He was like, oh, because we rolled the new model out, we stopped support for this one driver-wise. You have to do it yourself. I'm like, I didn't get any notifications about this. Oh, really? Sorry. Here, here's your chipset driver. Uh, just go here to this link and download it. That all happened last night because my computer, again, decided to chug. Turns out, I've got 8th generation i7. So it's a really, really, really good processor, yeah? Mm -hmm. However... Only two of the cores were actually engaged fully. Oh, yeah. So... Wait, wait, uh, did you clock shit? No. I've touched nothing. The multi-threading on it basically goes, okay, there's a there's a program running. Okay, boys, get the cores going. You know, let's, let's engage the RAM. Let's do all that. And so instead of other cores joining in to help with different processes processes they just don't so they let the other the two main cores just fry themselves to the point where the computer starts chugging because it's not engaging the rest of the cores so uh, I've updated my chipset and I'm not, I'm, the moment I updated another driver for it popped up so I'm going to update it after we're done tonight and so you still haven't played fucking the thing I, I touched it I touched chillax uh, okay. After playing with wads for a good hour, and trying to get you don't you don't need to you just get G, uh, GX. You fucking install I got it. GX. I installed it, and it was like you're missing the wad for Doom Two. Oh yeah, of course, because you need the fucking wad. Yeah, to get yeah, the yeah. So, so you install the so you take the wad from the official game uh, uh, folder in Steam, copy it, and put it in GZ. That's what I did. After after playing with it, you know, for a good. Uh, but, but but that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, the fact that the first level, uh, <laughs> you just you just spawn and there's already a fucking is that a cyber demon? Is that what it's called? Oh yeah, totally. there's a, there's a cyber that's demon, actually, a room full of pinkies, and all you have is a fucking berserk power up. Like, <laughs> I literally spawned in and went, wait a second, what the fuck is going on? Quick, run around the cyber demon, and there's loot boys all over the all over the stairs. Okay, <laughs> run out of the room. Oh no, there's little there's green boys shooting green shit at me. Keep punching oh, them. Hell, uh, the helmets. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I'm gonna have to come back to this. <laughs> See, it's actually pretty easy the first level. Yeah, I just I really need to get. I'm gonna play. I'm just gonna play through both Doom One and Two because it's not gonna take me long to beat them. But no, then you have nothing to do with them. No, I just want to. I, I just want to get reacquainted with the controls of Doom. Well, in GZ Doom, you have fucking mouse support. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it, but you, but you don't have it in the normal one, so. It, no, I, I, I run the normal one through GZ Doom. That's what I'm saying. Disable mouse control. Be a bit, just, I mean, no. Technically, you can disable vertical mouse aiming, which is how I'm playing it because I just. Fucking move with the fucking arrows and shift to strafe and out. Yeah, yeah, no, that's so, what sorry, I do. Shift I just to run out to fucking out plus the direction to strafe. Now, nah, fuck, miss me with that shit. I'm done. 
Now, I, uh, I I just want to get used to just not being able to able to aim up and down. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have auto aim. Auto aim is pretty decent. I know. I just I just I'm so used to aiming but up you don't, and down. But you don't need to, because see, I, I, it becomes more topical now. This now that uh, it's uh, you know, close to twenty um, to eternal, because internal they said, oh, this is not gonna be an FPS. This is gonna be a combat puzzle. Motherfucker, this shit's been existing because Chillax is exactly that. Chillax exactly. is a combat puzzle. Yeah, I'm I'm currently and, looking at somebody play the first game for the first level, and it's like. No, I didn't get to this bit. Jesus. Oh, you mean the task bot? Yes. Yeah, don't look too much at the task because the task bot does things differently. Okay. But yeah, that's kind of how you're supposed to do it. Kind of. It's a lot of like running around. The... Yeah, a lot of running around, a lot of team fighting and dodging. Yeah. It's a combat puzzle for a reason. And that shit has been existing for years. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, but there is one more that's basically so fucking bullshit. I just I, I couldn't do it. There was um. Oh fuck! I forgot. Tell you what I did do though. I watched a couple of episodes of inter interspecies reviewers. What the fuck is that? It's a manga set in a fantasy land where. Uh, this elf dude and this uh, human dude, they're 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 uh, adventurers, like you know, t- typical D and D shit, where they go and read uh, shit. You know, oh, quest quest lines on the on the notice board. Let's go do the quest. However, these two idiots, they don't go on proper adventures. Their little job is to fuck every single other female species on the planet and write reviews for them. That's so fucking boring. It's stupid as hell. No, I mean, the manga is actually, like, there's no actual porn in it. It's very soft, but it's also, it's just humorous and it's funny as fuck, which is the best part about it. While the show, Funimation had to cancel it because they didn't know what they had commissioned, which was pretty much a bunch of animators getting together and going, we go make porn. So... The first couple episodes are really sort of funny, sex-positive shit. And then it just slowly goes down a rabbit hole of, this is just hentai now. I This is just, this is just boring. To be honest, it's just boring. It gets, yeah. But first couple episodes are funny. I recommend it. Uh, you can't get it anywhere now because they canceled it. However, there is a guy who's uploading episodes to Pornhub. So that's where I found it. <laughs> that's where I went to watch it. But it's uh yeah it's 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 not a bad time. I uh what else did I do? I bought a guitar amp and I'm waiting for that to arrive. So did I tell you about Burst of the Year? And I ho- uh, I'm yeah. gonna be representing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you did. That's this Thursday coming up. So if you know, next Saturday when we record, if I'm not in a in a good place because I'm still hungover, that will be why. Because I'm off the Friday. So, yeah. Uh, but apart from that, I don't think it did much else. I'm going to go go to the theater probably this coming week. And I'm going to go see Parasite, most likely, and Birds of Prey. But I'm going to skip Birds of Prey. Much like the rest of the fucking world did. See, here's the, <laughs> see, here's the full part. It's so bad that I think that they renamed it. Well, no, the original title was just Birds of Prey. Then it was no, Birds I... of Prey and the Magnificent blah, 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 blah of Harley Quinn. And now I don't and know what they renamed it to. I think they renamed it to Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey or something. So Seriously. they can distance. Yeah, so they can distance as much as they can. See? So people are like, oh, this is title DC. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sonic's getting decent reviews. Yeah, but I'll probably wait to give a while before I want. Okay, let's just get into the news. I'm trying to think if I've done anything else of note, but I have not really. Oh, I bought myself Ori in the Blind Forest. It oh! It's, uh, the uh, second one is available on the Xbox Game Pass. Uh, the thing is, I tried playing it. I was just bored. I didn't it's minutes. just a platformer. It's just, it, I don't know. I just bought, I got bored. It's a sad former. I just got bored. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's just... And after like the 50th fucking game I played, like, was it just another one? And like, yeah. 
Just go back to Rogue yeah. Legacy. <laughs> See, I have a friend of mine, and we used to talk about this because he because he loves uh, Super Giant games. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And he was like, I didn't really enjoy it, uh, this one as much. And I was like, What? He didn't enjoy Rogue Legacy. He was like, I don't particularly like Rogue Legacy. So I was like, What? Why? But he said that uh, Hades, the new one, is pretty good. And yeah, I've, 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 I've heard people talk about Hades, and they're yeah, saying kind of it's, it's quite the thing. Yeah, but other than that, uh, well, I'm still thinking of getting the fucking uh, the fucking <laughs> Doom Eternal. I haven't got him yet. But I'll get it. Let's get him in. I keep keep meaning to go and try Enter the Gungeon because apparently that's really good as well. But again, it's fine. Listen, it's fine. It's just I, like I said fucking thousand of those and just get bored that and hollow see, knight same i mean a lot, a lot of people told me the whole and it's fine by me yeah but it's also that part like i said it's another platform yeah it's and another indie game basically just, just i mean every fucking time but, come on anyway did you see the batman screen test uh no Go to the stream and I'll put it up on the screen. Mm, don't do that. No, I'm going to put it in a tiny, tiny window. So this time, no, we're not going to no, get no, sued. No, no, don't do that. Just, oh. just, yeah, just link it afterwards. Oh, God damn it. it I was going to be bad? all fancy. Uh, no, but it's also all bathed in red and you can't really tell much. Oh, it's, well, that's fine because, you know, it's just it. It's very I mean, close it? to the Arkham, not City, Arkham Knight suit. There's bits of that in it, but there's also other bits that kind of look different. We are yet to see the ears. We don't know what the ears look like. Fascinating. Now we're just the huh. Well, yeah, because we need to know if he's got long ears or short ears. Yeah, he's very armored, very armored looking. It's fine by me. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't look terrible. I kind of don't like how much chin space he has. Like, how far back the mask cuts out. I feel like it should be a lot closer to his mouth. Eh, who gives a shit? If it's a good movie, who gives a shit? Yeah, he's got the Damian Wayne cape, where he's got, like, a little uh, collar around his neck. Okay, that, that part I don't like. Wait, I'm trying to do a new part of Damian, even though Damian is technically dead. Well, no, there's not Damon. It's gonna be it's gonna be Bruce Wayne. Make please explain. It's gonna be Bruce Wayne still. It's just uh I mean I want to see the ears. Oh, excuse me. Even though I have a very serious feeling that it's gonna be the Batman year one years, like the really long ones. Because he's supposed like he's supposed to be more of a Detective Batman, not a big muscly brawly one. It's fine by me. Yeah, so the suit does not look terrible. It doesn't look we can't really tell what it looks like to be fair. It looks like death. Everything is death. Ooh. Yeah. It looks like a Batman suit. That is exactly I, what it looks I, like. Do you know what I did? I did watch the, the cinematic uh, cutscenes of uh, Shadow Warrior one and two. <laughs> oh god, I did those games. I just did you have a good time? Oh, of course I did. It's fucking Shadow Warrior. Why would I? Not? See, there's a lot of things that they got wrong, but I understand why they couldn't make it right. But there's a lot of things that they actually got right. Yeah. Also, what you notice in that suit, see, you see the logo on the front of the chest. That looks like it's just two batarangs folded, and he just keeps them in his chest. Okay. But. Yeah, I can't wait for the twenty-five minute videos of people analyzing the thing and tell me how many how many things I missed in this uh, fifty-second trailer. I mean, what's the point though? We're gonna get to some point. Yeah, we're gonna get like, the um, movie's coming out I'm, next I'm, year, so. Uh, yeah. Principal photography I, started, so. See, the funny thing is, we haven't really talked about future releases here. Because what? Let, let's see. Let's quickly have a, a looky. Well, we're gonna have a Halloween. Another Halloween. See? Ya. I so, think the new mutants is still happening. Oh yeah, it is. It's next month. Oh, it's yeah. April. Sorry. Uh, but I don't know. Halloween uh, uh, two that's gonna come out just got me. I was like, yes. 
I'm happy Thank with you, that. Man. Thank, Thank you, man. Main. Thank you, Main. May I have another one? The first, the, the new remake, well, not the remake, the, the sequel, sequel to the reboot. third one? Oh, wait, sorry, the sequel to the to sixth, two. The two. Was it two? But, or is it one? Uh, or is it the sequel? I, no, it's the sequel to no, one. No, no, no. No, it's the, the sequel to two, I think. I don't know. It's, it was two. fucking great. No, it was fine. No, it was fine. It was a no, good time. Was, but it was fine. Okay. One things I disliked about it, but the things I liked about it. That's that whole tracking shot of him just going through rooms, shanking folks. That was fucking great. Yeah, that was pretty good. Like I said, there's a lot of things I actually liked, a lot of things I yeah. disliked, which is fine by me. Okay, Sometimes let's it just happen. let's quickly have a look here. Uh, we are in the month of February, so should I just completely skip February and move up to the next to the next one? Yeah. So I know. I, uh, I... Go on. Gonna come up. Uh, mostly horror movies. No of them just look fucking okay. bad. Okay, March. The one I'm the one I'm mostly looking for is Fantasy Island. I think it was. <laughs> Listen, that thing's a fucking train wreck, and I want to see how much of a train wreck it is. Okay, March. We're getting Pixar's Onward, The Way Back with B Ben Affleck, where he coaches the basketball kids. Uh, some one. sort of Indian movies. The uh, like Bollywood stuff. The Banker. The Burnt Orange Heresy. I don't know what that is. First Cow coming out in March. Swallow also coming out. This is all March 6th, by the way. All of these. Yeah. March 13th, Bloodshot with Vin Benzine Diesel. With Oil Factory himself. The Hunt, The Informer, My Spy with Batista and the Little Girl. I spy with my little eyes. Lost Girls and... Never, rarely, sometimes, always. That actually sounds fucking stupid. So March 20th, I still believe, which I'm guessing is another music film, A Quiet Place 2, The Climb, Deerskin, The Truth. Don't care for any of these apart from maybe A Quiet Place. March 27th, Mulan. There's some films that nobody cares about. Then we're moving on to April... New Mutants, April 3rd. Oh, About sorry. Time. Peter Rabbit 2, The Runway, because the first one did so well. It I didn't think that it did. Didn't, it didn't do well at all. It was pretty shit. Okay. Was pretty shit, but I think it did that April bad. 10th, No Time to Die. For that movie, Mr. Bond, people. I expect you to die because I'm playing Dr. No, and if people don't believe that, they're fucking idiots. Okay. Nothing here that's that interesting that I can see. April 24th, Antebellum, whatever that is, it looks like. A... Ooh, Antebellum, that, I, that was the uh, Christopher Nolan one, I think. No, no, a Tenet is the Christopher Nolan one. Oh, no, sorry, Antebellum was not one. I think I talked. Antebellum looks like a horror film. Yeah, it, it actually just uh, it didn't look that bad. Gothic, ho gothic horror. Oh. Yeah. It's got the Silence of the Lambs poster, but just minus the girl. Okay. May. Black Widow. May 1st. Fine. Uh, May 8th. Legally Blonde 3. What? Why? May 12th. Cannes Film Festival is happening. Then May 15th. Scoob! We're getting Scooby-Doo. The animated one which i kind of want to go see to be fair uh the the one we talked about split yeah uh not split sorry spiral the one with chris rock the woman mm -hmm. in the window i don't know what that is my may 22nd fast and furious 9 and another spongebob's movie Friday, may 29th artemis fowl for whatever stupid reason yeah, what the fuck is that? Artemis Fowl is a book series and it's being produced by Disney right now. Uh, uh, June 2020, June 5th, Wonder Woman, 1984. June 12th, Candyman. Oh, uh, yeah, Candyman. Uh, that's going to be a train wreck. Uh, June 26th, Top Gun. Fuck that movie. Let's see what. Oh, do you know what movie's coming out on my birthday? 
Which one? Minions, the rise of Gru. So at least you're gonna have to watch something. I will kill my. I'll rather kill myself. No, you're gonna watch it. July 10th, Ghostbusters Afterlife and the Perch Five. Topical. Well, there's gonna be. Wait, there's another fucking torch coming. Yeah, out? July what? 17th is where, where we get in Tenet. Wait, well, the Tenant. Tenet. The the Christopher oh. Nolan one. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah. July 24th, Jungle Cruise. Oh yeah, that one I talked about. And the French Dispatch. The fuck is that? It's the new Wes Anderson film. Okay, so it's gonna be watched. Yes. Uh, July thirty first, Morbius. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be a wreck in the house. Yeah, uh, nothing here. August fourteenth, Escape Room two. Why? Uh, t -t -t August twenty first, Bill and Ted face the music. Wait, which one? Bill and Ted. It's Bill and Ted three. Oh. I don't, I don't think that out. Uh, okay, September, Monster Hunter. Oh no, I forgot this thing was getting made. Oh no. What was Monster Hunter? Monster Hunter is the Capcom MMO where you go, where it's set in like, oh. it's the really cool MMO where you go hunt monsters with your friends and like you know have specific tactics to fight them. Do you know what's happening in the Monster Hunter film? It's gonna be a prequel to explain how no, the monster. No, it's set in modern time, and, and it's made by the guy who made the Resident Evil films. Guess who's starring in it? Neil Jovovich. Yes. Do you know why she's starring in it? Because that's her husband that makes the films. Exactly. And it's set in modern time, where a random portal opens up and puts monsters in modern time, where the Marines have to you fight know, them. It, you know, it might actually work. It no, just it won't. Might actually listen if they keep the premise. You talk to every monster, close them out. Might actually just just more. Nah. Uh, the Conjuring Devil made me do it. September 11th. Whatever. King's Man. September 18th. Uh, nothing that good here. Venom 2. October 2nd. Yeah, no one cares about that shit. <laughs> Death on the Nile. October 9th. No one cares about that shit. Halloween Kills. October 16th. Yeah, we care about that. <laughs> There's a bunch of weird horror films coming out. However, November 2020, The Eternals by Marvel's coming out. I didn't even know it was set for then. Oh yeah. Uh, Red Notice, Deep Water, Godzilla vs Kong, November 20th. Mm -hmm. It's a stupid looking poster. Well, at least the, 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 the go. Yeah, good. Small, small, small stuff. Samaritan, December 11th. Why does that sound familiar? Because it's the name of the bad program in fucking of interest. <laughs> uh, Samaritan. A young boy learns that a superhero who was thought to have gone missing after an epic battle 20 years ago may in fact still be around. Star Sylvester Stallone. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. I do not particularly look forward to that one. But I'll, I'll give it a try. December 18th, Dune. You know... Because in the Oscars, they said that Dune was going to be visceral and bloody, so I'll fucking take it. I'll take Dune. it. Dune. Well, yeah, it's, yes. it's, it's the same dude that made uh, the last uh, Blade Runner and Arrival yeah, so, and a bunch of other really good films. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, Danny Villeneuve. Yes. And I think I he's know, like one I'm... of my favorite like modern directors. I mean, I'll give, I'll, 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 I'll give it a try. If you did, did all right on Dune, it's fun by me. Well, he's got uh, a shitload of actors in it, and they're all really good actors. And apparently, the movie's gonna to be save like. A movie. That's that's not enough to save a movie. True. The movie's shit uh, from the uh, get go. It's gonna be shit, even regardless who you put in it. Mm. Except if it's Nick Cage. If it's <laughs> Nick Cage, it's it's really gonna become. Oh my eyes! Oh, they're in my eyes. It's just immediately gonna be a cult casting because <laughs> he's gonna ham it up so fucking much that. He actually might actually save the movie. Yeah, that's, okay. a, that's like a double-edged sword. Yeah, Nick Cage can turn a good movie into a fucking meme first, and he can turn a bad movie into a meme first. You still haven't watched Colors of the Space, though. You should. Go and watch it tonight. You're not at work tomorrow. Wh which movie? Color of the Space. No, I'm in at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Still, go and watch it. <laughs> it's like an hour and a half. 
it's that one I have of pure joy. Yeah. But we're going to get to the Oscars. First things first, I want you to have a look at the article I just sent you. Because one, it's written by a woman. And two, it pretty much sums up a lot of things you and I have been talking about on the show for the longest time. And I'll just read the title. And the title just... Mm, mm, mm. Oscars Corporate Feminism Isn't Empowering, It's Condescending. And well, ah, uh, because this is what fifth uh, fifth wave of feminism now. Yeah, so it, it's so fucking it's completely fucking uh, derailed. Yep. Point Caroline Framk or Framke, I'm sorry if I'm butchering her name. Basically, this is the fir- I'm just gonna read the first sort of sentence, and it really actually sp- says what we've said a bunch of times, but. Every time I've wandered into a department store in the past decade or so, I inevitably, I inevitably run into a display of sassy, glittering shirts <laughs> and oh, excuse me, emblazoned with aggressively empowering phrases. Feminist. Girl boss. The future is female. Aimed at teenagers and millennial women like me. Oh boy. Corporate feminism like this tends to smooth the edges off the movement's radicalism by frantically waving pink pom-poms in her faces turning the idea of girl power into an aesthetic it's not overall a terrible thing to promote encouraging messages in the same name of equality or something like it but one side effect of being so blatantly pandered to with the end game of getting us to buy what they're selling is a bone deep irritated exhaustion (laughs) And then she goes on to talk about how the uh, all women are superheroes line got a lengthy cheer at the uh, you know at the Oscars, even though it shouldn't have, and it's all just pandering to shit like like that. And it's just... <sighs> like I said, fifth wave of feminism is very fucking far removed from feminism. That's, That's the problem. Yeah, feminism is about, feminism, it's just about equality, and it's about equal rights, and people are just pushing it to the point where it's not even... I read, uh, I read about uh, Swiss, uh, Switzerland, and the law that states that uh, every man has to go to the mandatory military, and if he does not uh, apply to it, he has to pay extra tax (laughs) because of it, and all women are exempt of it, and a couple years ago, they had a have to be uh, do mandatory uh, army as well, and they voted no, and no on the taxes as well. And I'm like, equality, equality. So suddenly, suddenly, <laughs> it just doesn't fucking apply now, does it? But yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just silly. Like she, she also goes on to say that there was actually a lot of really positive female-driven stuff at the Oscars this year. Like the person, the production designer, designers for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, both women. They won an Oscar. And the animated short was produced by a woman. The Joker composer, the movie that won Best Original Score, was a woman. The see, uh, the, the, the thing is, uh, talent is transcending. You, you see talent, you can, you can only acknowledge it. it yes, see, but the thing is, same, nobody mentioned with, this. All, all it well, took for, was it, for people to say, girls it, are woke. Would, but nobody well, actually it, celebrated the actual people that won it. You see, the thing is, uh, they want a woman to uh, win Best Director. And I read an article about people uh, like, uh, sorry, Natalie Portman saying like, oh, what about these movies? Why weren't these uh, the female directors in the fucking run? And I was like, oh, those movies are not good. Maybe that's the fucking style of it. Like, you, you should not fucking put people that do stuff power work for fucking uh, best. Best something. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It, it just doesn't work. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? You're not promoting their work. You're not saying that they're actually good. You want them to win because they are women, not because they have any actual uh, reason to win it. Like, and she completely fucking took away uh, Jun Bung Ho's uh, victory? Why? Like, this is the one time in Hollywood that people are like, yes, finally, even though it's a Netflix movie and Netflix fucking won the Oscars at this point because yeah. they actually fucking made a lot of money out of that one. Because they have done people well. Were happy. Like, it's two ways of that fucking, uh, uh, what happened with uh, Parasite. Two ways of looking at it. 
first of all, South Korea, a non-American country, I want to point out for people who still believe mm-hmm. it, is established as a cultural uh, juggernaut in modern day society. That means that it's not just white culture. You know, the one thing that people get all mad about. Yeah, but no, the, these are, the that's Oscars one, this year sorry, actually... That's one. Yeah. That's one. Secondly, it's it's because now Netflix won a lot of it because, you know, it's them. It's them movies. So because they're doing not? well, yeah. And now the yeah, Academy's like... Oh, blah, 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 blah. That's not under and care. It, no, and it doubles down for them because now people are going to go to Netflix and watch it. And yeah. they're going to pay for it, pay, pay the stuff and they're going to watch other shit because now they can easily promote their other shit. You yeah. Want. But saying with that though, it's that again is a phase. To be to be I honest with you, no, there was an actual the, the lengthy article was explaining how they actually won and why it mattered mostly for Netflix because if it was Hulu original, people would not go to Hulu to watch it. They go <laughs> for Netflix. Yes, that's the that's the problem. But I'll give her props for saying this. This uh, Caroline, the I'm not going to try and say her last name. I'm going to butcher again. But her last paragraph is so is very well put together which i'm just gonna read the whole thing because i find it, it the, the exact same thing that she's saying there really applies to men as well not just women but she says this women are not a monolith some of us might be better than others but we're also flawed and strange and petty and mean and all the rest of it because that's what makes us human beings <laughs> the next time someone someone wants So let us know that all women are superheroes in big quotes. Maybe they would be better off considering the fact that women are people who deserve acknowledgement for jobs well done, just like men who have received such accolades for decades. No amount of lip service, no matter how loud and sparkly, could could beat that. Well... And that... That's the whole point. Is what feminism should be about. (laughs) See, the thing is, like, like I said, when you seek talent... You can fucking tell it's talent. Yes. Like you, you don't need, uh, especially other people to tell it. The same thing I, I told you. You haven't seen Underwater, but I explained to you why it's good, mm-hmm. and you, now you know why it's good, and you probably go and watch it and appreciate it. Yes. Because Kristen Stewart did a good job at acting, and I, like I said, I, I've not seen her in this shit, so I can't really the comment. But I was surprised she did really well. She understood what she was supposed to do. Yeah, with the she right material a, a, and the right director, it's obviously she's gonna know. Well, I'm not sure about that one, but you know, she, and that's something that not many people will understand yet because they want, oh, uh, uh, this was this woman is uh, the thing, uh, she's uh, a woman, and, and that's about. And when you put it um, in the context of what the fuck is going on, you realize it's not good. It's is she you portraying a person that's not that good at what she's supposed to do? Yeah. Uh, what else is there? Oh, what else was there? See, uh, let let's get back to Charlie's Angels and why that movie that did the service to everyone in the world. It's exactly the same point. Most of the time, especially now in the fashion stuff, it's like, oh, these are unreasonable standards for women. If they're too beautiful, okay, fine. Their job is to look fucking pretty. For one, <laughs> it's Charlie's you know? Angels. They're supposed yeah. to be pretty. <laughs> yeah, I was like, but. Uh, but the thing is, the way they portrayed them made every woman look like a, she has no flaws. Yeah. None of them. Yeah. And that's not how fucking. Which made a lot of her. girls actually feel uncomfortable <laughs> watching it because they it was like, well, I'm not never gonna be this. Exactly. It was like, I was talking that's... to one of the girls at work. She was like, I don't want to watch that film. I'm like, why? I mean, she's like, I mean, have you seen the three leads? Why would I want to watch that? I mean, if you create an an an, an, an unrealistic an standard imp- impossible yes actually impossible is even better than unrealistic. Impo- yeah impossible one and you go there men are gonna be insulted women are gonna be insulted yep. what the fuck are you doing considering you insulted men by pretty much saying you, you shouldn't see this movie because you're a man it's not meant for mm-hmm. you and, but clearly and, and, it's not even meant for women either it's not meant for anyone why my movie point, fail though. well well, about that. See, there is this thing called competent writing, and you should go and learn about it. It's understanding the basics that have been written down for fucking centuries. Yep. It's not even centuries. It's fucking ancient. Group. The, the easiest thing: create a character, have him have flaws, have him go through a personal emotional drama, let him grow from it, let him understand his flaws, and work away. But nah, 
or still have the flaws but have the time to you know I mean, it's the same with fucking Hercules. Hercules has flaws. He's the most typical one. Yeah. He also has his own personal drama. Big hero, man, but he still has to go through all the quests and make mistakes and learn from those mistakes and do everything else that a hero does. Hell, the fu- he just... fucking Joker was more sympathetic, even though he was a villain in uh, the Joker film. Well, no, he was technically still the main character, but he wasn't also a villain. He was an expression of no, all No, I mean, but he, he's issues. the Joker. That's what I mean. He's a villain, but, but he still managed not. to make him relatively sympathetic. See, the thing is, he's not the Joker exactly. No, he's, he's a not. person that, that could pass for the Joker. That's a difference. <laughs> well, yeah, we talked about this before. And it's, a, and it's still a good movie. And I'm happy that Joaquin Phoenix won the Oscar for that. Well, yeah, out of everybody that was on that list, he, I think he deserved it the most. Although his fucking cringe was uh, something, I'll give it that much. His what? Oh, you didn't see his fucking speeches about cows and shit? Oh, uh, no. I don't really oh, bother no. watching the Oscars. I just read what happened afterwards. Oh, no, 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 no. You actually fucking missed that one. I thought oh, about watching it this year, you know, actually sitting down and watching the ceremony, but nah, man. I actually watched it once and I was actually caught it. For, uh, but this was the, the least. All I saw was Gaga Dot, because I follow her on Instagram. She was posting, like, little videos here and there. But apart from that... Oh, and apparently Hollywood... Even in uh, one of the articles about this whole women as superheroes thing... <laughs> somebody wrote that Gal Gadot felt so out of place, and she's too pure and sweet to be, like, pandering to that. <laughs> it's like, they put, well, her, they put her up there. Why, why would she do that to herself? I mean... Sometimes you don't have a choice, man. They just put you there yeah. because they choose you. It's like it's like the same with the fucking Amber Heard, the horrible fucking human being. Oh yeah. Also, women are superheroes. And what happened to the Me Too movement from a couple of years ago? Why is nobody talking about Johnny Depp oh, uh, now getting you, you know getting psychologically tortured by Amber Heard? Why is nobody talking about that? Because the well, the uh, the uh, their tape recently not leaked but got released. Oh no, no no that was that was a while back. When no no that was that was last week. Sub- no, I when I told you that he submitted officially yeah. a lot of evidence. This week though it got leaked and yeah. it was shown what the fuck what happened. And, and it's every shown one that of his, he was his the one children, getting abused. So his children, his lives, all three of them I think it was. And every and a lot of people went to his teeth and said that this did not happen because William Boyas, he's the sweetest giving person ever. And this is his ex wife, so yeah. Not just someone. That was the one thing that always, that always, that actually got because, you know, some of them he might have played with, uh, sorry, but for it, uh, God, uh, he might have, uh, been an amicable separation. Yeah. And they still said, I was like, great person. They're going like, so what the fuck did, so why would you even believe her? But then again, she also became the face of the Me Too movement because, of course, they because of pretended. That, yeah. They, so they pretend and they didn't check shit and now it, the Me Too movement looks like a complete joke. Well, the Me Too movement oh, yeah. started started to be a joke the moment everybody co- started coming out of the woodwork because they decided to make a platform for themselves. Which, it's fine when you really had something happen to you, but when you're just milking it for the sake of fame, that's when it's just... It's, it's the same with the fuppering and how some <laughs> celebrities got caught uh, actually leaking their own shit and people didn't care about what? it. What? No. Oh, you too. You missed that one. That, that no, was I, I didn't miss it. it. I, I was do, trying to be sarcastic. No, I didn't miss it. I, I, I knew about. I knew everything about the happening. Where all of a sudden, so, more and more nudes started appearing out of the ether. Oh no, this person's nudes leaked. Oh no, this person like seri- and seriously. Some, seriously, seriously. Them, I was like, who the f- see the funny thing is, some of them I was like, who the fuck are these people? Like, I knew some of them, but not all of them. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, yeah. these people are famous. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Fucking stupid fucking movements, bullshit, fuck balls, cunts. Well, anyway, the Oscars it, happened. Uh, yeah, like I said, Korea just established the juggernaut in one day cultural. Thank you, Korea, for having, for having, for winning six Oscars. We, uh, but the shittiest, uh, you know what the shittiest part is? America is outraged. No, why the fuck would they be? No, it was two of them. First of all, Ju uh, Bung Hon, my <clears throat> our friend spiritual of, father, this friend of the show, Bong Joon Ho, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he uh, got asked, "Why did you create a, a movie about uh, 
Korea in a Korean language and you know that was a question and the caption down was like I don't know maybe because he's Korean bomb made a movie about fucking social commentary on his own in the language about his own that country his mother and it was like his own mother language of it's like why wouldn't he fucking create a movie so no, about fucking Korean ones like, why would yeah, you stupid bitch. Like, what the fuck is that question? I figured I was like, more like journalism 101. Fucking ask shit that doesn't make sense. But also, uh, during the Oscars, when they were trying to give their speech, because almost none of them speak uh, English. Yeah. And they the, the, troubles. Uh, the producer, the one of the lady producers, had to like talk for everybody else. <laughs> and what happened was that um, they kind of you know, shut the lights on them and they you know, awkwardly uh, pointed towards the, one of the. Uh, presenters yeah and you see fucking tom hanks just uh, just going like give him more, uh, with them um, give him more time kind of uh, yeah applause and got, got everyone there and kind of how warm do you remember do you actually remember that meme uh, during the me too movement and the whole uh sexual scandals and allegations the meme was this just in hollywood reports tom hanks still most likable person and nicest in hollywood <laughs> Well, I mean, he's, 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 like, a, he's I a nice person. Like he's a very yeah, nice he's person. He's a nice person. I may not like his movies, but I respect his wife. And his wife is Bulgarian. Uh, not sure about that one yeah, anymore. Yeah, his wife. She's uh, he's got she's got Bulgarian parents. Well, that's definitely. And she, you, you, you know, you know how he spoke Bulgarian and and the terminal. Yeah. She taught him Bulgarian. Apparently, he loves to go to Bulgaria as well. Funny, we haven't seen him, and our fucking reporters know to report on him. <laughs> Which yeah, because he because he's done he does well to hide. Johnny Depp apparently came to came to came to a holiday in Bulgaria and he had to leave because the the media mobbed him the moment they found out he was there. Because he was like, I'm going to go to Bulgaria to just chill out because nobody's gonna bother me there. Ooh. <laughs> well, yeah, well the thing is, uh, mo- most people really don't fucking bother. Like, I, if I see Johnny Depp on the streets, I'd probably bother him at least. I, I'm, I'm like, hey man, how's it going? I love your work. Can I take a picture? Can, like, can we take, get a picture? Can I have a picture? So I, I recognize who you are. Uh, if, if, you don't, if you don't want him, we don't have to. I'll just shake your hand and say I met you. I've approached Ooh. many, many people like that. Uh, <laughs> one of them, see, uh, like... No, no, oh. the funny thing is, uh, Phil Brooks, a.k.a. CM Punk, yes. has a very interesting uh, view on this, because... Sometimes he, he's kind of correct because sometimes when a fan of coaches or someone famous, yeah, they might approach him at the wrong time. True, and it's and it's kind of difficult for people to, to figure out what's the correct time, and it kind of sucks. And True, they kind of get the, the short end of the stick. I do understand that people uh, like him uh, uh, that to get bothered at the wrong time might actually have a negative. Uh, yeah, but a lot of people don't get the hint because the moment somebody says, "Oh, sorry, but not now," you just back away. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to bother you, and you walk away. Yeah, but it still leaves you with a bad taste of your boy. Yeah, but most people don't realize that, which is kind of stupid. Mm-hmm. Like the amount of I've I've met a bunch of like Bulgarian celebrities, like both in England and in Bulgaria, and most of the time they've been great. Like I, I've met Danchukarajov a bunch of times. I actually met him at the seaside at a restaurant and I couldn't help myself like I'm really sorry I'm a big fan bearing in mind we were just about to leave the restaurant with the parents and I was wearing a white shirt this is a very important detail and he was there with his family and friends I'm like I'm really really sorry I don't mean to bother you guys can we take a picture with you I'm a really big fan he goes yeah of course you can. He gave me a hug and everything like thanks for the support we take a picture and his wife goes I just wanted to ask where's our food I'm like <laughs> <laughs> and I'm there like, I'm wearing a white shirt going, uh, I don't work here. I just want to, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's like the forever curse. Yeah. Like, once a waiter always, like people. Even I've met, know. I've met Ian McShane. Like, he was really cool. I've met Billy Connolly, even though I didn't realize it was Billy Connolly at the time. He was really cool. Frank Quietly, I've met a bunch of times. And every time I meet him, he actually stands there and has a conversation with me, which is really cool. So. For those that don't know, mm-hmm. Frank Quietly is the guy that drew All Star Superman. Man, and, and that's a kind of at me because I, I understand that I'm also bothering people for no apparent reason. Yeah. Just to say, oh my god, I fucking do you. But then again, I always want to do that because you know, people. Are, it's like when I see Nicolas Cage on the street, I'm fucking going. Oh, I am. I am crossing the street, getting run over three times to go speak to Nicolas Cage. Three times, I'm playing fucking Frogger if I have to. Yeah. But I'm doing it. 
I, Hell, I made the effort to go see uh, Pete Thorne when he was uh, in Glasgow to do like, you know, in the UK to do guitar clinics. Mm -hmm. And he was the sweetest, nicest guy. Like yeah. that, that's all, that's a thing with a lot of musicians. They're always super, super chill. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. So same thing happens. I see fucking Keanu. I'm like, oh my fucking God. Keanu, take oh, me away. Hello. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hello. All I would say to Keanu is, would you like to share a piece of bread on this bench? And we would both sa sit sadly on a bench and <laughs> share the bread. <laughs> Keanu, man. Fucking Yeah, legend. I was like, yeah, but, but yeah, I mean, and I'm, that's always been the interesting part about Bukera. Most people, if you don't want to be bothered, they won't bother you. Yeah. It's like when when they filmed the Expendables, yeah, it's a marketing. Of course, they're going to be in the fucking media 24 7. A lot of shit happens. But outside of that, they can just come in and do whatever the fuck they want. They don't want to give a shit. Yep. Do you remember that Jason Statham nearly killed himself in Bulgaria? Yeah. In the Black yeah, Sea. He yeah, because he did something stupid. Yeah, he couldn't unbuckle his belt from this truck he was driving. He just dumped himself in the Black Sea with the truck. What a fucking legend. <laughs> he was what like, oh, I, was, I, I came out of the water and Sly was there with the phone going, hey, all right, we can move on. <laughs> yeah, what a fucking legend. Hey, yo. I, I, hey. Almost, I almost respect people who actually do their own stuff, even the life threatening ones. That's one of the reasons why I can't really hate <sighs> the Expendables films. No, not just that. No, it's in people I can't fucking hate. Tom Cruise. Even though yeah. I should, I kind of can't because I respect the fuck that he's what, 50 something now? 2060? Who? And he still does his uh, Tom Cruise. He, uh, I will check. Tom Cruise. Age. I think he's like 57. He's 57, exactly 57, yeah. Yeah, he's closing 60, 60, and he still does his own stunts. Like, yeah, yeah he, uh, the, do, you know, do you know why he started producing the, uh, um, because uh, uh, Mission Impossible cause films, piece, yeah, because the Scientologists paid for it. No, that's actually because a lot of the producers at the time did not allow him to do his own stunts. So then he said, no, "Well, I'm going to produce the film so I can be in control of that." See, actually, he gets the funding from the fucking Scientology Church. That's also true. So, yeah, that's that thing. So that's why he's also producing them now. <laughs> also, one of the funniest things about I've ever noticed about Tom Cruise, somebody pointed out. Right, uh, are you looking at the screen? Uh, which screen? Uh, I'm just the, the stream screen. That's fine. I'm not in the room. Oh, you're not in the room. God damn it. I'm going to send you the picture. Uh, now, what I want you to do... Yes? Is I want you to run your mouse from his nose, like in a straight line, down to the middle of his chin. And I want you to notice something very particular. It's perfectly square, perfectly... Uh, no, tilted. no, no. What I want you to notice is his two front teeth, yes. one of them is perfectly in the center of his mouth while the other is super to the side. Oh, yeah, no? That is the weirdest thing. It's just a perfect line. So this should be... That there should be the middle, but it's not. It's... <laughs> Nothing ever is. It should be that way a little, but... You know. I mean, maybe, I mean, that could be also attributed because he's not perfectly facing that center. No, no, it's all about. that's every picture. It's, the, it's no, he's it never, the weirdest thing. Yeah, but he's also never uh, looking at that center. He's always at an angle. Left, left one. Uh, so... Shall we start with the nominations? Well, I mean... Oh, oh I want to point out this that uh, Twitter pointed out to Natalie Portman. Yeah. Shit. See, people say something like... Uh, she, she was saying like, oh, female stuff. And you know that she also has her... Whatchamacallit? Oh, for fuck's sake, I forgot. Uh, producing company? Yes. Do you know that she's behind 11 movies? Yeah, I know that. <clears throat> Two of them were made by Natalie Portman. Uh huh. That's nine by men. Yeah, because she she was saying that they're the better, you know, the real they're really good directors. So she's working with good directors. Yeah, but then again, you asking for fucking uh, female empowerment in uh, the director in uh, in the directorial one, and then you'd go and do shit like this. Oh no! Yeah. No no, kinda... no 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 no. 
stupid. That's one way of putting it. Incredibly <laughs> stupid. I've gone down a really deep rabbit hole of actor transformations, quote unquote, where somebody just horribly photoshopped actors' faces onto body. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no oh no oh 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 look at this look at this this is i shouldn't have gone down this hole uh, it's just don't look... care <laughs> what's happening here it's death it was... Everybody is how, death. how many steroids have been had here the rock is bursting out of his shirt. No, it's just horror show. I know, but it's just funny to look at. It, it just let's go. why is Vin Diesel's head not that is not bad. That's a, that's a bad shoop. It's a really bad shoop. So let's quickly go over some of these nominations. I'm not even gonna bother with the shorts because we don't really best makeup and hairstyling. Bombshell one. Good, I guess. Did I, I, I didn't see Bombshell. I, neither did I. Um, best production design, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I still have not seen that movie. I probably never will. I'm guessing it's well deserved. Best sound Maybe. mixing, 1917. Mm, you know, that was, that was the thing that... See, I think we had the same discussion last year. I'm not particularly sure at this point what the sound mixing is, but fine. I, I, I'll give him... Sound I'm editing. Ford versus Ferrari. Didn't see that one either. Costume design, Little Women. Didn't see that one. Little Women won over The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. See, the, the Jojo one, the best fucking watch my wallet thingy. Uh, Adapted screenplay. Yeah, that was like, okay, fine. Yeah, it's based on a book, isn't it? Best film editing, Maybe. Ford v Ferrari. Fair enough. That's actually fine. Best Visual Effects, 1917. Well, okay, yeah, that's, that's Over cool. Avengers Endgame. Well, yeah, pretty much because uh, 1917 is more on it. Yeah, and, it's, and, it, and you can't tell which is what CGI and what's not. Which is. Best Cinematography, 1917. Fucking yeah. well-deserved. Okay. Because Rod, Roger Deakins kicking ass. Uh, did you see it? No, did no, you I, it? I've yet to see it. But again, it's Roger Deakins, and that man is an absolute fucking just... Mm. Uh, best original score, Joker. Fair enough. That's a, it's, uh, even the fucking OST is pretty good. Yeah. Best original song, I'm Gonna Love Me Again, from Rocket Man. Because mm. to be fair, the other songs there are pretty shit. So... Uh... Best international feature, Parasite. Yeah, th this one fucking bugged me, because uh, logically it had to be Parasite regardless of what happens. Because it'd be fucking stupid. You win Best Picture, then you're a foreign movie, and then you don't win fucking foreign movie. What the fuck is that? You never know. Best documentary. Do we care about that? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's good the documentaries are happening, but I still don't understand how uh, I'm supposed to judge documentaries on. Best animated feature, Toy Story Four. <laughs> I haven't seen. I haven't seen since three. I have not even figured. seen three properly. <laughs> I haven't seen it at all. I just stopped. Jojo playing. Rabbit, best adapted screenplay. We talked about that. Uh, best original screenplay, Parasite. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. But you haven't seen the movie, so you can't. I'm not. I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm just agreeing because, you know, good. Best director, Bong Joon Ho <laughs> for Parasite. Yeah, mm, already touched that he yes. deserves it because the movie is really good. Best wow. Supporting Actor, and you know what? Fucking good on him. Brad Pitt, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I have not seen that movie, so I cannot tell. Uh, I do not him. care. I'm... Fucking good on him. Okay. I mean, I've probably watched it. Just... Best Supporting just... Actor, Actress, Laura Dern in Marriage Story. Still needs to see uh, that film. Which one? Uh, no, which one? Uh, Laura Dern in Marriage Story. Don't remember. Best actor, Hockey Phoenix and Joker. Oh, yeah, he deserves it. Yeah, out of all everybody on that list, maybe apart from Adam Driver, yeah. 
Best Actress, Renee Zellweger and Judy. Not seen that movie, but I'll take that word on it. Yeah, she's a good. She's still a good actress. Wait, what, what was Judy? That sounds so familiar. It's something that I don't think I'm actually gonna watch. I will have a look for you. Judy. Oh, 30 years after starring in The Wizard of Oz, beloved actress and singer Judy Garland arrives in London to perform oh, sold-out shows. Yeah, I don't think that actually came out. Even... Holy fuck, she looks... They made her look like Judy Garland so much as well. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, I might, might actually give that a go. Uh, and the best picture, obviously, Parasite won best picture. Oh, yeah. Very good. Like I said, imagine this. Win best picture in a foreign movie, but you don't win best foreign movie. <laughs> like I, I, I think that uh, we, we didn't need to have Parasite in the. Yeah, category. but also because it's just it, weird. I thought I thought the Academy didn't allow foreign films as best picture. Uh, I think that this year they made an exception because of uh, this movie. Because <laughs> I'm pretty fucking okay with that. I'm okay with that too because like you wouldn't see. Both... See, I, I was thinking that the last time I talked about. Really happy about it. Yeah. Really. Because uh, I was like, I was wrong. I actually decided to go the other way. I'm fine with it. I'm actually happy with it. Yes. But, that uh, being said, but, but, kind of makes me feel stupid. <laughs> because uh, it's a Netflix movie, so it's uh, not particularly amazing. <laughs> so, so, so <laughs> like, show job again for Netflix yeah you know because I think that they calculated at 11,000 per ballot for uh, by Netflix mm -hmm. the, how much did it cost them to win it's something fucking when I was like no fuck no I do have to stand still though happy in happy, a sense happy 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 Fair. good and I know that many people are gonna go and watch Parasite which you should if you're living yes. in the UK because the UK and it's coming to cin it's coming to more cinemas now because of the Oscar wins as well. And it should have been uh, more should have been the cinemas ages ago. Yeah, but and you enjoy it, but I want you to uh, but you need to remember this. This is a Korean one. It's like see it, 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 it's it's basically Gangnam style. <laughs> well you you might find this funny, but the fucking song is about people taking out loans to go to Gangnam. Yeah, in, uh, in yeah. Seoul and uh, live lavishly, even they don't, even though they don't have the money. Basically, that, but in two fucking two and a half hours. And that was, that was okay. That's why it's probably gonna be so popular because in the end, it's just the same fucking shit. Yeah. Still good movie. So. Do you remember a film called The Forbidden Kingdom from? 2014. Yeah, the one with Malcolm McDowell and uh, uh, in the future with the fucking disease and there's basically a tech city outside of it, mutant, but in the end, fucking. No, it's fucking... with Jason Fleming. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, 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 give me a second. Oh, I think a different one. No, it's set in like Transylvania and shit like that. Uh, Forbidden Kingdom? Yeah. Yeah, it's what, wait a second, is this a Bulgarian film? Is it shot in Bulgarian? In Maybe. Bulgarian? In Bulgaria. Duh. Who can't, I oh, cannot Oh, I'm lead. sorry, I was thinking about this. Oh, well. oh, yeah, I remember this. This is, wait, The Forbidden Kingdom with Jackie Chan. No, Forbidden Kingdom 24, there's a Forbidden Kingdom film with Jackie Chan as well. The 2014, you say? Yes. I don't know why. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, no, no, no. I think I've seen this. Because it's decent. I wouldn't say it's wait, incredible. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, the name is uh, V. Yes. V. 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 V minor. Uh, what's more important about this? Yeah. So we're getting a sequel. Five, six years after the movie. Uh, no, 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 no. This movie has been in the grinder for a bit. And they're, they're only now sorting it out. I'm just going to leave the link to the article and I want you to see the two main pulls for this film. Schwarzenegger and Jackie Chan and Shadow Dance? Yes. It's going to be amazing. This movie looks like shit and I want to watch it. Like, Maybe. I saw the trailer, the CGI looks unfinished. Everything about it looks jank as hell. You're jank. And I want to watch it. 
and I'm going. So watch it. I'm definitely going to watch it. Fair enough. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, we're getting, we're getting that. Uh, also, this the No Time to Die soundtrack got released. Mm -hmm. And? Do you know who's singing the title song, the No Time to Die song? Uh, what? Try and get, like, uh, who won the most Grammys recently? Oh, I have no idea. I don't fucking think. Billie Eilish. For what? She, for she, because she's a helping, she won a bunch of Grammys. So she is the one singing the yeah. song to No Time to Die. Uh, which, yeah, I guess, okay. I mean, people like Billie Eilish. I don't know. Also, Indiana Jones 5, starting production this spring. Fine by me. Do we need another Indiana Jones? No, no, we don't. I won't mind if they still uh, go for the basic you know, Indiana Jones movie. But Shia LaBeouf should be in it. I don't think so. Oh, but I want him. I want to see him swinging from the trees with the monkeys. See, I actually rewatched that movie recently. Yeah. Um, if you cut out the cringy shit, it's not terrible. It's not the worst. Thing. No, 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 no. <laughs> not, not in any way. I remember watching it on HBO a bunch of times because they kept playing it. I was like, this is entertaining at least. Yeah, maybe for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Now that whole entire chase through the uh, through the jungle, if we're not counting the bit with the, the monkeys, chip? yeah, the stupid shit. Yeah. The rest of it's like balls to the wall, insane. He's like fucking. There's a was it Shia LaBeouf having a sword duel over a bunch of Waz jeeps and shit like that. That's a, that's a really good time. It's what I want to see from my Indiana Jones films, but I don't want to see CGI monkeys and... Oh, fuck me. Pardon me. That's not the ASMR you wanted to hear. Uh, like I said, you, you, you remove uh, the stupid shit from Indiana Jones 4. Not that bad. I mean, we've seen what I mean. Anybody fucking remember the Mummy 3? We don't talk about... Or the new Mummy, for that matter. Even the new mummy did a better job than three. No, it didn't. The new mummy, the biggest cry I had. Whew. Was that it was bland. Nothing worse than being a bad movie and being bland at the same time. That's your line as well. Nah. But kind of. <laughs> well, yeah, man, Bland and boring, it, you know. Uh, right, so I have put the poster for the film we're going to talk about, obviously, in a little doobly-doo like I always do. I just want to say, apart from little bits missing from the right and left of the poster, that is the way that poster is cropped. I did not crop it any further. That is how poorly it is cropped. Because this week, we're talking about passengers. And I'm just going to yeah. and I'm going to throw this out there before we even start talking about it. I tried to rewatch this film last night. I was like, it's before bed. I'm going to sit down. You know, I can't be asked playing anything. I'm just going to rewatch this film. 20 minutes in, and I was out. Listen, I, for me, it was worse because uh, I tried watching it again. Yes. And I just f fucking pressed the, uh, no, skip five seconds, skip five seconds, skip five seconds the whole time. Because the first half I hour never... of, the, of this film is such a fucking slog. It's probably one of the most boring things I've seen. See, and. The director of this has one really good movie behind him. One really good one. It's called Head Her. It's based on a Your Nesby uh, book. Okay. His first one. 2011 Head Her and Us. Watch it if you can. It's really fucking good. Really. Morten but... Tildum. But I also... I also well, he's the guy that did the imitation game as well. That's a, that's a good film too. Eh, I didn't watch it so I can't really say. I particularly not fond of uh, the story behind it. Let's just say that it's... Uh, it's a gruesome tale. Oh, 
not really a gruesome tale, it's just stupid. Yeah. Because, uh, how, how, what was it? Uh, it was, well, the imitation game, wasn't it about uh, Norian Fleming? Ah, uh, the guy that cracked the Enigma. It's the guy that cracked the Enigma code that when they found out he was gay, they uh, chemically cash traded him. Oh, not just that. It's like England 101. This is yeah. legitimately England 101. <laughs> it's like, oh, you won us the war. You're a hero. Oh, you gay. You fucking, you, you animal. And I'm sitting there going like, this man just like, well, so, listen, yeah, listen, a brilliant mathematician and one of the originators of uh, modern day purple. Yeah, he is quintessentially probably the most important person of uh, the last century. He uh, he has the foundations that won the war and uh, set up fucking uh, programming and computing for the future. Yes, you, you can't uh, do more. And they fucking kicked him out like a fu- uh, like a fucking animal. And I, when did they knight him? I think he's a knight now. He was post mortem, that's well more for sure. I think it was uh, like 1970s or 1980s. Some weird shit. And when England tried, when you watch the movie, they skipped that whole part of him being, uh, you know, kicked out of his own country, being uh, dismissed by his own country. Yeah. Being fucking. And I was sitting there going, like, listen, I don't fucking care, but you do realize you're literally cherry picking one of the status stories mm-hmm. in existence. Mm-hmm. It's almost if Poland, uh, Poland makes a movie about uh, the Holocaust. Made- no, no, no! Inmate three five eight. Ooh. <laughs> and and they skip the, and they skip the part when they actually execute him. Oh no! You just. It's like us making a movie about the uh, bombing of the of all the other what? parties in nineteen forty four. And 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 we skip the part. And we skip the part where they bomb each other. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's just like one of those moments when I'm sitting there going like, "Oh no, I'm not watching this one. This was a fucking insult because this does the service to the person. I don't fucking care who plays them." Yeah, you, you just you should have known. Bro. You should have known. I don't fucking care. You should have known. Bro. You should have just sit down and said we need to portray this as exactly as fucking. But as far as I uh, heard from people, that doesn't exist there. I'm like, yeah. Oh. And I and since you've seen it, you said so. No, they they touch on it. They touch on the whole that, that he died. He the movie ends very, in a very bitter note where he is very sad about the fact that he's been castrated, but they don't touch on it too much. But it's still which there. They should have, which they should have. But this is the, uh, the British national. Well, you, know, you, can't, you can't, you can't, shame your own country, can you? You move for something like this. You, you should. Like this you is should a fucking one, ram it down their throats for that. Well, not ram it. At least say it. Yeah. Like, at least acknowledge that we you did a dumb up. thing. No, that's 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 Britain. They never admit to that shit like that. Hell, they're still going through a Brexit, so you know. Well, see. At least acknowledge that you felt that you should have never fucking done shit like this. Yeah. But nah. So like, see, that's the funny thing. It's like when we talk about our history, it's like, oh yeah, we did this, but we also did that, which is bad. Yep. I have one of my friends, it's uh, Greek. We talked about the. First, and he's like, well, my friend fucking hates Bulgaria because of what happened in the first Balkan War. And exactly, know what the fuck happened? I was like, well, you can't really blame us. Because everyone, Wait, fucked first up Balkan there. War, everybody fucked up, but then they all went for us. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, everyone went for each other. Yeah, that's also true. It was a, it was a fucking free fall by the and end. The first and ever all... air bombing was invented by us with getting oh, crop planes and throwing okay, grenades listen, overboard. <laughs> uh, listen, that's actually kind of a half truth. Yeah, but still funny. The first modern day bombing. Yeah. Because uh, it turns out that uh, fucking. Uh, in Italy, in Venice, they used balloons and dropped bombs in the 16th it's century. It's still just funny, man. Just can you just imagine, like, well, we need to get there and bomb them. How do we do that? Just get in the crop plane, get the grenades. Let's go. Uh, and and here is the and here, and we we're talking about. It, I was like, listen, this all shit happened because all of us we should have had a fucking uh, con- uh, contract agreeing on the fucking territories because that's what happened. We yeah. fucking beat Turkey in the census, and they were like, oh, so this is now ours, and they're like, no, this is ours. And it just all it's went like we fucking want it back. Yeah. It just went fucking haywire. It got really ugly. It just uh, it goes down to the whole. Uh, it happens a lot in films and games where it's uh, it's the uh, just talk paradox, where everything could be fixed by just talking, but instead everybody just jumps to stupid conclusions. And yes. That's how we get the plot of films. If you're playing, and... if you're playing a uh, uh, RPG, you always murder everything. That's one on one. One on one. It's like, oh, you're playing fucking Witcher. You have an option to go to start a fight or just talk it up. Fight, fight? bitch. 
But yeah, uh, this movie, this movie called uh, called uh, the, the, the Passengers. Passenger, but it's a really dumb movie for a lot of uh, fucking reasons. Let's start with the basics. So we found out interstellar traveling, kind of, but not exactly. Yes. Then we found another habitual plan. We go, but the ch- journey there is eighty years, something like that. So, so we send a bunch of humans five in hibernation that. pods to in, go and colonize when, the and planet. The, and this is where the movie turns stupid. Because the whole ship is an automated, uh, yes. basically just automated, for like a shuttle, for 80 years during hibernation. And yes. That never fucking works. Here's the, here's the thing. You should always have a fucking rotational crew on it. Like one year spent and uh, wake up the other one and like mm-hmm. this, just make sure that things go. It's not even a year. Life. Have them work a couple of years, go into hibernation, get the next people out. And if you have exactly. 500 people uh, on the on the thing, they're all qualified fuckers, which well, they establish. No, 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 no. They're not really qualified because you need a specific crew of the ship. Because the crew is the crew. Yeah. But the crew itself has to be there. Because the rest crew. of them is like you have your agricultural people. Yeah. You have your teachers. You have people that are not particularly skilled in any time. Uh, uh, like, well, I don't know, astrophysics. Let's go with one. And or mechanical uh, stuff. And that's, 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 you know, you can't wake up everyone. But you need to have a rotational crew, so in case something goes bad, there's people that can actually fucking fix it, which they don't. And people and things turn bad. Yeah. So, uh, so we opens up. We have uh, uh, J Lo, who the journalist that's traveling to a planet and wants to be the first that's going to report, but then it gets kind of fucking useless because when you think about it, it's fucking eighty years between them, <laughs> and she won't talk about the job. <laughs> but let's talk about Aurora the- Lane. With the most pretentious fucking name I've heard in my entire life. Oh, it's a space blue. <laughs> Maybe it's Aurora. <laughs> fucking shit but yeah okay well, that's just uh, shitty writing it's like oh look we have we have, we have futures uh, uh, in um, the indistinctive far future humanity's name so it's gonna be John L uh, instead of John or L <laughs> or L, L Jim uh, Preston apostrophe man way. Or, no L apostrophe way instead of L way what the fuck uh, this is like pretentious shit like it's just it's not good. Just cock around or fucking cattle or something. It's gonna be fine. Aurora in the space movie. Wow. Aurora the that... and the ship is called the Avalon. Yeah. I was like, okay. So, and we wake up at Chris Pratt's uh, spot has been broken, so he's the only one uh, woken up. And yes. then he figures out he has 60 fucking years more to travel, which means that he'll probably die before uh, the, the ship goes to If he doesn't go insane, kill himself because he so he's well, isolated. We, to be fair, we get a pretty decent montage of him just running around the ship and going through the stages of ah ha ha. Oh, this is oh wait and a second. And the ship oh. looks fucking ridiculous because it's a fucking uh, a, uh, all clean and sleek and no, uh, the, the the design of the ship is really stupid. The oh yeah, the this, whole rotating rotary, thing. I just that that part. I was like, what the fuck is this? Why? What the fuck is that? You just you're literally drawing shit because it looks cool because it's actually fucking practical. I mean, the movie doesn't look bad. Like the, the no, it doesn't. The effects are but, pretty good and the the, the, the set yeah, design the, is pretty as, decent. As sparingly as they are, sure. Yeah. And he's trying to fix that up. And here's the other issue: you don't have any fucking uh, contingencies for shit like this happening. Clearly not. What? I was also sending a message uh, back to uh, Earth will take eight years, which I will. I am not, but I have no fucking clue about astrophysics, so I'm gonna go, sure. I'm gonna go, okay, fine. Which makes it over the more dumb, because why do you have fucking support when you can't fucking reach support? Yeah. What the fuck is this? And yeah, so, so and he spends the whole fucking year. Yeah, why, fucking why, why, why would the biggest colonization of another planet in, the, in yeah. history not have a contingency plan? Well, I don't know. <laughs> because fucking the fart noises the, no exactly actually fart, fart noises we need the plot that's the yeah so one year he spends a long he go, he's driven in sync he doesn't care about himself so he goes all fucking uh, Robinson fine and he you now decides to wake up and they hear it okay. and it's like oh I'm, and he lies to her because I because do obviously understand see see here is the thing that part I didn't hate I do understand them. it yeah. is a shitty situation uh, he, uh, he knows that he's going to be alone for the rest of his life. And he wants company, at least some of them. And he's, uh, but it's not 
particularly smart because like i said you put this shit like i just said back to what you just forced to. this onto a woman onto someone yeah and it's fucking stupid it just, yeah it's stupid why well, you're so stupid <laughs> because just and, tell her the truth tell her the I mean, truth no 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 it's just it's not just that it's just you know stupid but you know and they run around the ship and they realize that something's wrong with the ship. Probably why uh, he woke up. Like I said, imagine actually having a fucking consultation that will probably fucking solve this. Cause it would well, be so but that, that would make sense, Evo. That would make <laughs> sense. And a lot of this, guess what? Yeah, it does not make the, sense. Yeah, so the second part of the movie is basically the J-Lo and Chris Pratt do a good, uh, doing good guys between each other. And it's pretty fucking bad. They, they, uh, have, they have zero chemistry. See, I don't think it's zero chemistry as much as I think it's basically them just trying uh, to make, uh, you know, being awkward about it. No, it, it, it feels like they're trying to, like they're both really charming. Both of them in general, I'm saying as actors, can be, especially Chris Pratt, can be incredibly charming. And with a lot of these scenes, it feels like they're just trying to out charm each other. Like who can be the more the more goofy or the more charming? Or sorry, uh, she's supposed to play the stuck-up uh, journalist, uh, and but she is. She that fails miserably point. at it. I mean, I don't think she even actually attempted. To, but that's the funny part. I think that she they just set her up as this, but she never actually went. Yeah, which reminds me, I need to go take a quick uh, loo. Go, you go, Doctor right Lou. I'll just uh, carry on ranting about this. So. A lot of it is just, it makes some sense, but it, how do I put this in a way that doesn't make me sound like an ass, even though everything I say makes me sound like one. They spend literally a year. The two of them spend a year in the film's time getting closer together and eventually falling in love. It takes them a whole year for him to keep this a secret and bottled up for the whole notion of, oh yeah, the ship's fucked and we might not even make it, but why would I tell you that when instead we can, I can just uh, wake you up from your hypersleep because I found you to be pretty and we're gonna do the whoopee. So... They also, like, uh, Lawrence Fishburne wakes up, because he's, he's Arthur, he's, uh, what was he supposed to be? Uh, he's the, uh, oh, not Arthur, sorry, uh, oh, fuck, the bartender, who is a robot, uh, but he knows about the secret, because obviously he's a robot, so he's in tune with the system of the ship, which doesn't have contingencies, but, you know, who, uh, who cares, or we might be missing something, I don't know, but... The robot. Sorry, I was just elaborating how they spend a whole year getting closer until they eventually fall in love. You know, listen, that's fine. That's okay. I find it because uh, she has to go through the fact that uh, her whole life is a. Yeah. And you know, you know, it's just I'm fine with that. That, that that's fine. It takes a year. She needs time to the uh, be consolation. Yeah. Like, because her life, her life's. But, Fine, and so they were able, at some point, to wake up the fucking captain. I'm sitting there. No, going, no, no. It's basic. Could've... No, the, it's it's not. They don't even wake him up. It's a plot failure. It's it's basically we don't know where the plot is going. Move forward, please, because the robot Whoa. tells tells Jessica uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, yeah. He tells her, "Oh yeah, uh, you're fucked. He woke you up. The ship is fucked." And then mm, yeah. plot failure, captain. No, it wasn't Ch just Sorry, that. Chief Deck Officer, not Captain. Sorry, it wasn't just that. It was also the fact that uh, he as Je uh, he will have uh, the, 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 the robot stuff that's fucking up. Yes. And then the Captain's yeah. uh, plot fails. And this is where the issues become. Because apparently it was fucking easy to get into it. Yeah. And he spent the whole fucking... Both of them spent two years of not doing it. And I'm sitting there going, are you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah. No. But on top of that, we have Extra bullshit. See, it's all on Fishburne. One of the times I was looking at him and pitting the guy. He's yes. a great actor. He can be as hammy 
to if you haven't seen I mean John you've Wick, seen him in the John Wick films he is yeah. he has the he, time of his life in those films yeah and he's the happiest person and yeah. he, he enjoys himself and he's you've seen him in the Matrix when he plays Sirius he's amazing at playing Orpheus the whole quiet you know yeah, silent badass type apart from the t- also- apart from the times where he just screams sexually <laughs> that's a different story uh, favorite bit in the Matrix one where he just goes but, but here's the thing in this, in this movie he he's literally fucking confused he looks yes. like a, and he has all of the cancer not just cancer all of the cancer he's gonna die because I don't he's, because everything fails it's not just one thing everything fails yeah. he's like okay well we need to do like how, how often has things go, gone bad here he's sitting there with like but this wouldn't be fucking avoided if you have a fucking rotational crew, you stupid son yeah. of a bitch. It's like, I, 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 I'm not particularly well into uh, sailing, but I think that especially on big cruisers, you have a rotational crew because at one point, the captain goes to bed and has to sleep. Yeah. And at another point, the second ship begins where so someone that takes his place just makes sure that everything's fine for when he wakes up and like, like this, they rotate mm-hmm. in and out. Mm-hmm. And he was sitting there going like, if, by the, by the way, if this is true, like I'm picturing this, if the, if this is happening in normal fucking society, why would it be different fucking space travel for 80 fucking years? You stupid, stupid sons of bitches. Well, no, it, all, but also these two mongrels, a, a mechanical engineer and a reporter managed to fix several issues with the ship. Only for it to eventually arrive to its course. And oh yeah, oh yeah, because apparently they also shifted off course because of uh, fucking asteroids. Course in, the, in the beginning of the movie, and that's the whole reason why everything's going bad. I'm sitting there going like, this would be fucking avoided if we had a fucking rotation. Fix if this you shit. had contingency. That also, I'm like, what the fuck? And now uh, one switchbone gets over the fucking cancer and dies, and they try yes. to fix the whole ship, and then they're able to fix the whole ship. And this actually. This is one of the things I actually liked about this movie was the last part in space where Chris Pat was just trying his best to save uh, the, the woman ship. And, right the, yeah. and uh, right the wrongs he did. And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. You're not dying on me. You know, bitch, I still love you. And like, okay, that's actually kind of... That is something that you can actually see a couple do. Where they yeah, bicker for ages, but then they go, wait, well, we're bickering, but I still love you. Don't, don't think I'm not going to bicker with you anyway. You know? Also, like I said, the thing is, it's like, I also... I like the whole him going out to space and how that mm-hmm. whole section played out. That was pretty well done. I it, was actually... Like when there's action, <clears throat> quote unquote, in this film, it's pretty good. It, it reminds me a lot of uh, Gravity, if you remember that movie. Gravity was fucking so, incredible. Yeah, and I like that. I actually do like uh, still that part of the movie. It's just getting there was one of the worst slogs of my life. Do and you know? So, wait, 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 wait. Oh. And, Suddenly, Lost Facebook says, well, by the way, there's just in case that this happened, we have one extra phone that you can use to go back to Crayon No, it's the like, medical bay. There's a, the, uh, the dock they used to heal each other, turns out, can be used as a pod. Yeah, it was like, oh, so we have a fucking contingency. And the one fucking decided to write this shit down? And there's just one for 500 people? What the fuck is this? What? <sighs> Oh, contingency, because now J Lo uh, saving Chris Pratt and being all oh, well, again lovely, lovely. He's like, I'm gonna write the wrong, so you go into the fucking pod and go to sleep, and you know, I'll just fucking die here. I won't wake you up anymore. Sorry. And she's like, Nah, nah, I just feel so much and I don't want you to pass away and uh, having this moment. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Fine. I do like that Chris Pratt actually tried to write the wrong, and J Lo here yeah. just getting over herself. We, yeah, but was she justified to be angry with them? Yes. 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 She was incredibly justified to be angry because he single-handedly ruined her life. Was, was the whole relationship movie? justified? No, it was based on a horrific lie that only got revealed when the relationship got serious. Yeah, but then again, when you think about it, he was still the same person. She felt yeah, but he also lied about what happened to her pod. Uh, also, it's kind of funny because when Lost Fishbone goes to check out her prod and he realizes that you see Pratt's regret on his face because his prod could also be a really good actor if you want. No, he's a, he is a good actor. That's what I'm saying. They're both very when charming. He, when he wants to. When he wants to. When. When. Because <laughs> that's a 
Exactly. And there's a, very, actually... there's a few very funny scenes in the film as well. It's not even, you know... Yeah, because he's chubby and funny. That's what, yeah. also, that's what people like him. But, that's why people like him, Chris Hemsworth because they can be really charming and funny. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth is also a really good actor if he tries. Well, sadly, he hasn't been trying for five years now. Because he's been do playing four. No, do you remember the movie where he was playing this elite fucking hacker that could label the read? We don't talk the... about that film. Shut up. Uh, Shut up. Yeah, I, even I fucking <laughs> skipped that one. Even I didn't want to watch that, yeah. Because I, I, uh, I, was, I, was, I was looking through the fucking trailer for it, and it was like, it fucking scrolls the whole fucking code. It's like thousands of likes. He's like, stop, that's the mistake. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hacker fuck? man. So, that's not how hacking works, you stupid motherfucker. What the fuck is this? Oh, this is his signature. You literally scroll for you just scratching at least your 10, head. 10,000 lines of code split second, and you're able to identify something that's just. I, I have you pro has anyone in the fucking writing stuff ever? I'm gonna play a video on the on the screen. Nah, the, don't no, 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 it's fine. It's it's one of those. I'm just gonna. It's a, it's a it's one of those Deus Ex parodies, but I'm just gonna display what hacking looks like in most films. I'm just gonna put that on the screen there. Transition. Yeah. Just oh, you keep quiet play. for one second. One second. Oh. No, you're, you're not called hacked. Get... Area 51, hack. Statue of Liberty, hacked. You're gonna burn, all right. Oh, uh, you should go. Did you remember that uh, you need to watch my call? Uh, uh, but I've got nerves of steel. I'm not big into books. The hacking song? Yeah. No, it, it's the guy that does the parody of the original of the original uh, Deus Ex where he's just running around and, like gr grimacing at people and it just says J uh, JC Denton's lines on the bottom. I got nerves of steel. A bomb. What a shame. He needs more gravel in his voice. But yeah, the, the, the reason why this film is like this, by the way, is because it apparently went through a bunch of rewrites. It was in development hell and it went through a bunch of recuts as well. And that's why a lot of it feels very, very disjointed and how we go from zero to a hundred in very little time. Yeah. And apparently there was a lot more character development in the original cut where we spent a lot more time with just the two of them. Which I guess could have made him a bit more sympathetic, but the whole year they spent together is just a montage, isn't it? And then we get to the drama and... Oh, wait. Well, I'm, listen, I'm fine with the montage because I don't want to fucking spend a fucking day True. watching it. But also, it feels like it went through his two stages of a film that, like, the two acts leading into the third, which is they have a good time, we reach the peak, and now we're in the lull where they don't like each other or they're, they've fallen out. Much like, a, mu much like a lot of films, like It, like other ones where things go well and then the group separates. Except in this one, it's like, well, we need the plot to progress forward. Uh, ship failure. It's like, ugh. well, this, uh, well, this is parts of the Caribbean. Oh, all again. Oh, we need the, the plot to uh, move forward. We don't know how to. Oh, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Except in this one, like it's it's alluded in places that there's a ship failure because there's random things. You know, there's random cutaway shots of things breaking and stuff. But <laughs> oh yeah, and the, and the movie uh, finishes on this, um, especially J Lo uh, saying, uh, saying shit. Yeah, the the, the, the the reading of the book. And uh, everybody else wakes up and everything's all green. Everything's all... Yeah, look, there's there's a little garden we made for each other because this is where we built died. I think that, I think that the, the, when I watched in the cinema, there was a mention that they actually had kids. God, I Something like that, yeah. And we I had like, a oh. wonderful life together. Wait, who? what if one of them died first? What happens then? Mm, I don't know. Oh wait, dude! Who gives a fuck? Your your both of your lives got ruined because of this man's selfishness. Yeah. This movie made its budget back in the box office. Of course it did, because it has fucking J Lo and Chris Pratt. It's probably one of the two things that uh, it's a, people... it's abysmal. Of course it is. It is at times even painful to watch, regardless of the charm of the actors. Yeah, pretty much. That's top off for you. It hurts. I am becoming hurt. Know, do you know what we're going to go next week? The yeah, we go on. It's going to be Cat Women of the Month. The what now? Cat Women of the 
Cat women are uh, sorry, cut off every time we say off Cat of the, the moon. moon. Oh. 1953. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna. <laughs> it's just no one. <laughs> the synopsis is literally they wear black tights and lure astronauts. Oh yeah. Oh, you're gonna watch that one. See, but the fuck, I'm not gonna be only watching. It's only 64 but... minutes long. We're all right. Trust me, it's gonna be an interesting 64. It's on YouTube as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, why would you do this to me? So what was your idea for March? Sorry for movies. Uh, strong independent female characters has leading roles. I'm good with that. Uh, with the other boss having much more call. Other males. No, yeah, no, no, it doesn't matter as long as there's a strong leading female. Yeah. Even even if no, she's no, an insane psychopath. A, yeah, not a uh, no, without a leading male. Yeah, yeah. Just female. Well, what if what if it's a co-star? Nah. I'm saying what what if I give him misery? What do we do then? Well, no, because uh, I mean, as uh, misery, she's not really. She just like. She's the lead. Whatever you say well, for that. No. She, she's the one that steals the show. Oh, Edgar. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't dust my my guy. At at Cam. I think it was yeah. Cam. I forget. Uh, I, I always forget his name because his son plays in uh, Hawaii Five Zero. Yes, they. Oh, that's why they look so much alike. Well, yeah. It's actually he, uh, James Cam. Yeah, James James Khan. Yeah, uh, I'm. It can, Jesus Christ. Uh, and he's really good at a fucking lot. Yeah, Misery is a fucking incredible film, by the way, for those who haven't seen it. It is it is genuinely carried just by... Uh... Two people. Yeah. Literally two people. That's the whole point. Even though... it oh, is... I've got some ideas. Yeah, uh, it, is, just... it is literally carried by James Conn and Kathy Bates. Yep. Just the two of them, especially Kathy Bates, just ruling the ever living fuck out of that film. Mm hmm. Anywho. Have you got anything to add, sir? Oh, no, no, I don't. Very good. Oh, well, I also made a clean up on my fucking Steam library. Oh. Yeah. The. Uh, my librarians. Okay, I saw. I started playing. Uh, what's it called? Wrath again. Ooh, I actually uninstalled Wrath. I'm waiting for. Um, I'm. I just want to replay it with a new patch. And yes, they have changed quite a bit. That's how it's supposed to be. Are you playing it on the difficulty? I'm playing on the point? higher difficulty this time. Yeah, you know, you know the, uh, you know the right click on the shotgun. You know how it used to be just a big burst. Yeah, it's a fucking projectile now. Fair enough. It's a projectile that when it hits, then it becomes the big burst. That's good. Then you can get damaged by all the ricochets. I think that the double shot gun needed to fast wind up. No, the wind up still still is slow, but the fact that it's a like a, you know, the fact that it's a fucking straight line, it shoots for eight. Like, say you have one of the cyst guys in the in the distance. Mm -hmm. You can wind one up, shoot it, jump away, and have all the ricochets kill everything around him as well. Uh, Even if he's far I, away. I, I just, I just want to. Uh... It's a good time. I it's recommend. It's an amazing it. time. Yeah, recommend it to anyone. I've also centered my weapons. My weapons are are now centered in the middle, <laughs> like cool. classic, like classic Doom. And quake. Yeah. Which makes no sense whatsoever, because obviously that's not how weapons work. But hey, I'm, if if I wanted to, I'm gonna do it that way. Fuck yeah. off. If I'm if I'm going to aim with my like I have fucking issues, I'm gonna do it. I aim with my penis. Exactly. I'm gonna yeah, exactly center so the kickback will hit me exactly in the sternum. Yes. Die. I want a broken collarbone by the end of this. <laughs> not a collarbone, just a good cage. 
Oh, the yeah. sternum. The sternum, because the I want, I want, is what I, I fucking wanna, broke. I want to. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I want a ruptured lung by the end of this. Yeah. Exactly. Just uh, shoot a fucking uh, rocket launcher while it's aiming. Rocket lawn chair. Lawn chair. <laughs> no, it's a lawn chair. It's a chair and a lawn and a rocket put together. Anyway, this has been Voices from Behind episode. 55 oh shit I'm, and i have to be in work in eight hours oh just kill me we have talked about passengers today a bit about the oscars a bit about other things opinionated as always i have been evo who have and you been i've i've also been new yes very good we will see you all next week in the voice from behind podcast find us on the usual places and the spotify's and the youtube and the, the, the apple podcasts and all the other spots. Okay, then. Thank you all for watching and listening, and we'll see you all next week. I'm playing music. <laughs> <laughs>